everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button in this video, and if you're new, subscribe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year. Nickelodeon has finally announced the nominations and the hosts of their annual KCAs, otherwise known as their Kids' Choice Awards. They have two hosts. Now, I'm not quite sure if they've ever done that before, but I find it cool. So we have one that is Rob Gronsky, who is the um, one of the football players for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Also one that I'm surprised didn't happen anytime sooner is actually Miranda Cosgrove from iCarly. Thank God that we didn't decide to get Jojo Siwa as the host. She would have just been annoying. I'm sorry, stands of Jojo Siwa or anyone who likes Jojo Siwa. If you do, that's cool. Me. She's just annoying. And I am going to be voting while doing this, so, but we're gonna be going over the nominations and doing all that. So, without further ado, let's get started with our first nomination, which is Favorite Kids TV Show. So here we have Are You Afraid of the Dark, Raven's Home, High School Musical, The Musical, The Series. It's such a weird title. I can't be the only one that thinks that's a weird title, right? I mean, anyway, continuing. Danger Force, That Girl Lele, and The Babysitter's Club. I don't even know what channel that even airs. Is that a Disney show or is that something else? No idea. I'm gonna go with Raven's Home because I have seen a couple of episodes. Honestly, it kind of captures somewhat of the essence of the original original series, which is kind of why I like it so much. For me, Raven's Home, it is. Moving on to favorite family TV show. So you got the reboot of iCarly there. Then you also got Cobra Kai, of course. Young Sheldon, Marvel Studios, WandaVision, Marvel Studios, Loki, and The Flash. The only show that I really watched well, barely, to be honest, was iCarly. I think I've only watched, like, maybe the first four episodes so far. For whatever reason, I just stopped watching it. I, I don't, I can't really tell you why, but I haven't necessarily gotten back to it. But from what I have seen, I do enjoy the show. So that one, for me, that's gonna have to be my vote. So moving on to favorite reality show, pretty much the same ones that we had last year. So Lego Masters was nominated last year. America's Got Talent, The Masked Singer, of course. Course, Wipeout, Kids Baking Championship. I think that was the first time it's been nominated. I'm not quite sure if I've seen that nominated before, but that one's actually kind of cool because you see these kids on Food Network baking like legitimate cakes, like decorating it and all that stuff. The skill that some of these kids have is insane. I can't even bake, so it's like, how how are some of these kids even able to bake as good as they do? That part's crazy to me. And American Idol. The vote for me is Kids Baking Championship. Favorite cartoon, okay. SpongeBob SquarePants, Teen Titans Go, Looney Tunes Cartoon, The Loud House, Jurassic World, Camp whatever that says, uh, and the Smurfs. Looney Tunes cartoon, we're skipping that. There is literally no point to talk about the cartoons, okay? Because we all know who's gonna win, so I'm ignoring it. So let's just move on. Favorite female TV star. Obviously for me, that's gonna have to be Raven Simone. That's not me being biased, but she's really the only one I know, to be honest. I don't really know anyone. I think I know Olivia Rodrigo, but I, I, I think I've seen her in something else. I'm, I, to be honest, I don't know. But for me, it's gotta be Raven Simone, okay? Raven Simone's my girl. Favorite male TV star, Cooper Barnes. Joshua Bassett. Bassett, I believe that's how you say his name. Luca Lujan. Ruff, Ra Raphael and something. I don't know how you say his last name. Alej, Ala oh, Hal Alejandro. Oh my God, I am so fucking stupid. It's like, I, I can't say Alejandro. Are you serious? I really hope that's his goddamn name. Young Dylan or Bryce Guy, Guy, Gaze. I, I don't know, but I'm just going to vote for Cooper Barnes. At least he's somewhat entertaining, I guess, as Captain Man. Favorite female TV star in a family series. I know quite a few of these, but I have to go with Miranda Cosgrove. I mean, yeah, I know, cliche. She's hosting the uh, Kids' Choice Awards this year. You're gonna vote for her, but you know, like she's the most that I know out of all of these. I mean, I know Peyton List. I know Yara, you know? I, I think I know Elizabeth Olsen too, probably. Uh, I don't really know the other two. Uh, but Miranda Cosgrove, again, 
Hi, Carly. I mean, come on. Favorite male TV star. All right, this one's interesting. I, I would have to go with either Nathan Kress or Jerry Trainer. Probably Jerry Trainer because Jerry Trainer is hilarious as Spencer. He's always been hilarious as Spencer to begin with. All right, so favorite video game. Surprise, there's only four of these. Brookhaven, Minecraft, Just Dance 2022, and Mario Party Superstars. I don't play video games. I don't even know what the heck Brookhaven is. I tried playing Minecraft once. I couldn't understand what the hell I was supposed to do. And I never played Just Dance, and I also never played Mario Party Superstars, so just gonna vote for that one anyway. Favorite movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I, I, uh, Tom, and Tom and Jerry the movie, are you, okay, so not only is Clifford the Big Red Dog nominated, but Tom and Jerry the movie was also nominated? Are you freaking serious? And, and the new Cinderella, <laughs> honestly, I think just, just on principle, even though I didn't see a Disney's Jungle Cruise, uh, so I don't know how that movie is, but either way, I'm just gonna vote for Spider-Man No Way Home. Favorite animated movie. All right, so we have Disney's Encanto, Disney and Pixar's Luca, Sing 2, The Boss Baby Family Business. I completely forgot that that was even a thing. SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. Ugh. The three I've seen was Disney's Encanto, Sing 2, and the Paw Patrol movie. If I gotta be incredibly honest with you, I think the better movie out of all the three was definitely Encanto. I will say definitely about Paw Patrol the movie is that for a movie that's based off of a preschool franchise, they went pretty hard on this film. Like I, I was not expecting them to do so much with this movie. I kind of know Encanto's gonna win, so I'm just gonna give that vote to Paw Patrol. So, cause why not? But you know, either way, if I do another vote, I'm probably gonna vote for Encanto as well. If the SpongeBob movie wins, I swear to God, I'm gonna riot. Favorite voice from an animated movie. So we got Reese Witherspoon, Aquafina, Keanu Reeves. Technically, that's not a voice from an animated movie. He's kinda, you can see his face, but I mean, I guess it counts, I don't know. Scarlett Johansson, Charlie's, Theron, I guess, and Tom Kenny for Spongebob, of course. The only movies that I saw out of this was Sing 2, Sponge on the Run. I didn't see the Addams Family movies. I'm, I'm not really interested in the um, Addams Family movies, to be honest, especially since I haven't really heard many good things about that film either. To be honest, I might have to go with Scarlett Johansson with this one, mainly because I think Ash is kind of like my favorite character in the whole movie, to be honest. Favorite female artist, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, Adele, Billie Eilish, and Cardi B. I'll go with Billie Eilish, but I, w I would still vote for Adele as well. Favorite male artists, you got Bruno Mars, Justin Bieber, Ed Sharon, The Weeknd, Drake, and Shawn Mendes. For me, it would have to be between Bruno Mars, Ed Sharon, and The Weeknd. I voted for The Weeknd the last time. I might go with Bruno Mars this time because there's a lot of songs that I like from Bruno Mars. Favorite music group, Maroon 5. I, I'm still surprised that they're still a group. Like, I, I didn't even know that they were still together. Uh, same with Black Eyed Peas, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm surprised they're still a group as well. Jonas Brothers, Florida Georgia Line. I never heard of them. Uh, BTS, of course, and Migos. BTS is gonna win. We all know it. Favorite male creator. Okay, thank God. Thank God that James Charles was not put in there this time. I'm still gonna vote for Mr. Beast, okay? All right, like, I, yeah, I don't really know much about him and I don't watch his videos to be honest, but again, just because of what he does with his platform, I think I'm gonna have to vote for Mr. Beast on that one. Favorite female creator, Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio. Why, why do we like these people? <laughs> Favorite female sports star. Okay, that one's interesting. So we got Serena Williams, Simone Biles, Naomi Osaka, Osaka, I think, Candace Parker, Sasha Banks, and Chloe Kim. I'm gonna have to give it to Naomi for this one. I like Serena Williams and Simone Biles, of course, but I'm gonna have to give it to Naomi for this one. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the nominations and the voting session for me for the KCAs. There was some that I didn't go over because some of them I just didn't really know all that much about. And to be incredibly honest with you, I didn't really care all that much about either. But 
yeah, some of the ones that I guess stood out were like the favorite movie, especially with Sponge on the Run being nominated for. I really hope that one doesn't win, to be honest, because there's some other better animated movies out there. I'm kind of interested to see who wins out of all of these, or out of some of these, definitely, because again, there's a lot of them that I kind of don't necessarily care about, to be honest with you. <laughs> but either way, um, let me know in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen, out of all the nominations I went over in this video, which ones would you guys vote for? Which ones did you think were kind of crazy nominations? And which ones would you vote for? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. See you next time.